Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV. Look who I have here. I have Hi. Harley Lobasso and Corinne Brown. And um, you know, they're, when I say they're gonna speak, one of them's gonna speak because Corinne, Corinne has lost her voice and all the excitement. We, um, they, last night they won Goldwell's Global Zoom. Uh, very exciting. Uh, it was really a very special night and the two have been celebrating. We have them just for four minutes and we're going to ask them the secrets to winning a competition and to give us the feeling. I want you guys to ask your questions to find out what it really takes to win a competition that includes what makes this a unique competition. It's not only a photo competition, it's a live competition. So they're going to tell you some secrets. I'm going to ask somebody to close that door over there because we have a very exciting fabulous uh, disc jockey that loves his loud music. So hang Okay, we're going to start with Harley because, Harley, tell us the salon you're in and uh, the category that you won. Uh, my salon is Hair by Scott in Delray Beach, Florida, and my category was creative. Creative, and uh, I, all right, I'm sorry, Corinne. Just it's okay. <laughs> uh, Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Corinne Brown. Corinne Brown. And the salon? I am from Salon Circa in Seattle, Washington. And it, the category was? Or partner. partner. Partner, okay. Yeah. Somebody said she's so cute. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Okay, so because because of Corinne's situation, we're gonna go over to Harley. <laughs> and Harley, this is not your first time entering a hair competition, right? I mean, no. how many times have you entered this? I've entered since 2007 or eight, I think, and I've placed the last three years since 2013. So three years I've made semi-finalists. Okay, and and um, you and I were talking earlier about, you said don't be discouraged. Why? Yes, do don't that? be discouraged if you don't win because when I've, my experience from losing, looking back on it now, is that you have to wait for the right collection to be you. So you can give it your heart, your soul. I mean, I made semi-finalists for Real Illusion last year but to win Real Illusion would never be me. I'm a rebel. I'm, I'm like that every day. So don't look at it as you're losing. Look at it as the next collection just hasn't found you yet. You can't force someone to be inspired. You'll know when the right collection is for you. It might take two or three years, but just keep going and make great prints for your salon and great marketing for your salon. And just keep going and keep going and you'll know when the right one is for you. Somebody said you look like a rebel. <laughs> I am a rebel. She is a rebel. She so is. look at her nails. We have to talk about her. Check I am out these a rebel. nails right there. Hold on still. The, how do you do hair with nails like that? Oh my god, they're like a comb. <laughs> <laughs> And my nail guy is 26 years old, and he is super talented. Ben, who is in Boynton Beach, is amazing. Oh, it's so cool. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to just slide down here and show your boots because that's the other thing about These are Harley. my conservative shoes. These are boring. These are her boring shoes. These are boring. And uh, somebody said, let's see your outfit. So go ahead. Stand it's, up. It's plain. I'm very, oops. Whoops. Oh, yeah. I'm I, very, you know, I told them that be careful not stable. on these. I'm, yeah, very, I'm very deconstruct right now. Oh, you are just so freaking amazing. You're a rebel and that was the right collection. These for are my you. comfy clothes. And then and then the other I'm gonna go to Corinne just for a okay, minute because I know sure. how hard this is for you. It's okay, I can you, do this. You said somebody says, Oh my god, fabulous. So um and somebody says, Love love your fringe. Um, oh, thank you. What you said something about practicing. Yes. And that's the only question I'm gonna ask you. Oh, okay. Well good, because that's what I want to talk about. Uh, what have my clients today posted on my Facebook page that the harder you work, the luckier you get. And he said that he felt like in my circumstance, that's what happened. And I think that that's really true. The harder you work, the more you practice your look, the more you mix the colors, the more you put foils in the hair, the more you practice when you're gonna put a base color on, when you're gonna put foils in, and when are you gonna shampoo, when, how long does it take you to dry? Knowing the breakdown of all of the steps of your process is totally key. Yeah, it's totally key. And yeah. you talked about your mannequin heads. Yeah, I have 22 mannequin heads. What am I gonna do with those? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then how does somebody find you on Instagram? Okay, okay great. So I'm Corinne Brown on Facebook, and my first name is tricky to spell. It's C-O-R-I-N-N-E. And then on Instagram, I'm Corinne V, like Victoria Brown. All right, very cool. And now we're gonna go because I, I know you are suffering so many times. I'm so proud of her. Oh, go USA. Thank you. All right, so we're going back to Harley. So Harley, people people want you to come dress them. They want to know your Instagram name and how to get in touch with you. My Instagram name is Harley Colors 3030. My Facebook is Harley Lobasso, L-O-B-A-S-S-O. Or you can check out the Hair by Scott website. 
Um, and I'm willing to dress everybody. <laughs> And these, I should point out, both of these girls have like smoking bods. So I think maybe that's why you guys oh. won. It's a, but you're also oh. both quite eloquent. Is that something you, that you have to be prepared for? I mean, winning this, you weren't prepared for what's happened to you right after and today, right? No, I learned not to drop the F-bomb during press, <laughs> press interviews. Yeah, yeah, we heard but that. But that's the rebel part about me. <laughs> All right, that's not, that's not a necklace. People are asking about your necklace. That's not a necklace. No, it's a harness. It's all, well, all right, we don't want to know what you're doing in your, your spare time. Corinne had one on earlier, but she took hers off. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so do you guys have any special questions? They were telling their secrets. So the secrets are practice. Practice, practice. I think finding a good photographer. Yes. Having a good photographer, having a good bottle, and storyboarding so that you have a good direction. My photographer was Kale Friesen. I was mentored under Michelle Pargie, and I, ha I definitely did storyboard. Same with you, did you? Do I had Kale also, who is amazing. He's the best photographer. Finding a good model, and be pre you have to get prepared to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, yeah. and make the changes sight on scene. Well, well, and that's, somebody just said, in a nutshell, your categories are, you were creative, which means what? Creative was five years or more yes, experience. Yes. And then partner. I'll and I work you. for the company. You work for the company, yeah. or you're an educator or a right. platform artist. Right. Um, they want to know, are you sponsored? No. You're no. Not, you're not sponsored. Mm -mm. I have a very supportive team at home, at my salon, and my family. Okay. That's so, my sponsoring. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then just um, some of the things you guys practiced and trained, um, but in a nutshell, what were the things that were surprising to you that you had not prepared for? Talk about the bowls and the person next oh. to you and that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, I had an, there was someone with an interpreter next to me making all this extra noise and I'm like, what? What, like, where is that coming from? And then bowls that I had like practiced using, I'd never then, there was different bowls, the carts were different, we had these extra yeah. folding things that came out, where now I had to use a drawer as an extra set to hold the bowls, because I had six colors. Just so get prepared to be comfortable with uncomfortable and make quick changes yeah. when necessary. And you really have to be adaptable. Uh, I didn't have huge issues during the competition, which was fabulous for me. Uh, my only tremendous issue was that I kept ripping gloves when I tried to replace my gloves because my hands were so sweaty. And I was trying to put on fake eyelashes with these gloves. I had to put on an extra large size because my hands were so sweaty, I really couldn't get them on. And I had these like bubbly rubber hands trying to put eyelashes on my, on my model. That was like little weird things can throw you off. And my gloves were my little weird thing. Yeah, your voice is picking up. Oh, right, so good. was it a time competition? I'll let Harley just give a nutshell what what Global Zoom what Global Zoom is, the Goldwells Global Zoom. It's winning the world. It's it's, it's a photo winning. competition. Oh yeah, pho what what it is, yeah. It's a photo competition, then live competition. And you have three hours to three hours. To do what? Three hours to three do hours what? to recreate the total look. And let me tell you, that is the fastest three hours of your life. Yeah, and it's color, cut, style, makeup, and fashion. Everything. And one other thing is, I saw. I don't know if it if it was an issue for you guys that there were there were ten people online for the shampoo bowls. Oh yeah, I I missed I missed that completely. So I'm, I had two processes, and a lot of people didn't do double processes. So by the time my first one was being shampooed, everyone was really just finishing applying color. So I was like trying to like really cruise. I ended up missing all of that. Did you miss all of that? I yeah, I didn't have I didn't have a lot of weight either. Because yeah. I started first when they ring the bell, I like froze. I was like in slow motion and I'm like, wait a second, and the clock's on now, I gotta get started. But yeah, I didn't have any issues with the bowls because no. I had two processes as well. So it kind of staggered me out and I worked up until the very last minute. <laughs> okay, so people are asking how to enter the competition, and the really cool thing is, I hope you can hear me, that you don't have to be a Goldwell salon. You just have to use Goldwell color. There's three categories. Count them. One, two, three. One is for stylists. New that, talent. New talent, which is you. you just five years. New talent is five years or less. Which and then partner, and then creative is all of us in between. So it's a great competition. Yeah. This is going to be great for your careers. This is it's huge. Gonna be huge. Yeah, it is huge. Yeah. Um, so uh, oh, it's like a real life sheer genius. So ah. to enter it, what what is the um, we're asking over here? What did go? Goldwell US slash color. Goldwell US 
slash color zoom. Can so, I give a tip on that too? Yes, yes, yes. I have one tip that's going to be super important for you guys, along with having a good photographer, a great model, and a beautiful end result. Your technical breakdown has to be spot on. Use correct terminology for Goldwell. It, use exactly the milliliters that you used. Use all the correct verbiage and break it down very, very concisely because they look for that. Oh, they do. And you know yeah. what? I'm going to flip this around because... Um, I was a judge and we were tasked as judges to make sure that they followed the rules. It was, uh, this particular collection was a band of color and if it didn't have the band of color, we didn't eliminate them, but they lost a lot of points. So just any competition, just follow the rules because there's so many great entries. You're looking for reasons to not have somebody in it. So I'm going to go back to them. Um, and then I just, I think it's in January. I'm asking in January, you can start signing up again. It's Goldwell US, one of the slashes, backslash. All right, Goldwell. Kirsten, just get over here and tell us what, what, what is com Goldwell? Dot us slash color zoom that's in January starting in January and you guys you have to enter I mean they make it so easy to enter all you have to be is you know a licensed hairdresser a colorist it is the most amazing competition I'm honored to be a judge I am so excited that that the girls from the US brought it home yeah yeah, yeah. 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 all right you guys thanks a lot for tuning in you guys thanks for giving us this time because I know it's been a busy crazy all right bye bye